I'm going to show you how to assemble a very powerful Wi-Fi gun. And its signal covers hundreds of kilometers. However, the whole construction is light and easy to make. Making a hybrid out of two popular types of antennae, the Yagi antenna and a microchip patch antenna, you can give birth to a real Wi-Fi rifle. You can make this antenna using any kind of metal sheet. I picked the copper sheeting, its thickness is 3 mm, so I can use scissors to cut it easily. I'm going to thread the pieces of copper sheet on a metal stud. I need to cut out 7 circles and make some holes in the middle. Firstly, I'm going to make 7 holes, because I need to do it before making circles. If you try to change the preparation order, you might make the holes while drilling them. It's highly important to have nice and straight holes. I'm scrapping the circles according to the scheme in diameter, then I just cut them out. Fantastica. Do it as accurately as you can. A millimeter deviation from the scheme will make the whole device useless. That's soft like butter. The type of metal you use and the size of the bolt you choose doesn't matter at all. So pick any bolt and metal. Mmm, pancakes! Now I've got all the details ready, and I have to screw these pancakes on the bolt. And I also have to keep the distance between the circles. This Wi-Fi gun is as easy as LEGO puzzles. I'm installing the second copper circle. The distance must be 30 mm. No more, no less. Follow the instruction. Now I'm adjusting the nuts, just at the distance that I need precisely. Oh, super. I also must make some extra holes for the wires in the first and the second large discs. The blaster is ready, and the last thing is to attach it to this device. Firstly, it's going to be a USB modem, then we attach them to the smartphone, and the last thing is router, for the internet sharing of course. Through the Wi-Fi gun, I disassemble the Wi-Fi wireless adapter to connect it to the gun. I want to get out the antenna, and this should be done carefully. <laughs> It is clamped here. That's much easier than I supposed. I'm tinning the places where I'm going to solder. Just have a look. Wow, the soldering goes hard. It has changed the color. <laughs> soldering the wire to the disc. The outer braid of the adapter to the first disc. And the central winding I connect to the second circle. I'm fastening the whole construction to the support platform, for the comfortable targeting, of course. Wow! This thing looks cool, I think. Looks like Jimmy the Worms Blaster. Let's see what this thing is capable of. Updating the list. They aren't all still. Wow, 11 routers! This result is unbelievable for the neighborhood I live in. And I must admit that my usual router can find only one signal. When I turn the Wi-Fi gun aside, I can see some absolutely different signals than in the previous position. This proves that my Wi-Fi gun works exactly as a gun. Now I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi module of my friend. He gave me the password in purpose. He lives in 500 meters from me. Holy donut! I didn't expect the signal be so strong. Let's check out the connection speed. This is the whole speed the internet provider gives. This means that the Wi-Fi gun doesn't lose the signal power. To make sure you will get a Wi-Fi signal in the distance of more than 1 km, I recommend you to install the Wi-Fi gun on the roof. Put it off. I'm going to get a usual satellite TV cable. I tear off the extra part of the TV connector. And then I drew one of the discs. It's the last circle of the Wi-Fi gun. And finally, I'm screwing the cable nut inside. I'm screwing the cable inside. I install the disc on its place. And solder a little. Don't be mean. Use some scotch tape to fasten it a little. Look at this beautiful device. And the other side of the TV cable I connect to the Wi-Fi adapter through a pigtail. You may google what pigtail is. 
This pigtail was a hard one to find. Make sure you have it before doing the Wi-Fi gun. I wish it won't break it occasionally. The Wi-Fi gun is a directional antenna. That's like a rifle. I have to aim the target Wi-Fi directly. Perfect. This time I've got much more signals. I've even found a free working Wi-Fi. Though the speed of connection wasn't really big. But still it's a free internet connection. Alright, I guess it's clear. But what about the smartphone? How to connect it to the Wi-Fi adapter? We know it hasn't got the right output, but this is quite simple, my friend. You have to make a capacitive coupling of a Wi-Fi adapter and a smartphone. Strip the cable up to this length, like you see now. Then just spin it this way with the pliers. Then put this zigzag close to the place where is the antenna of the smartphone. It's usually located in the upper or downer parts of the smartphone. I use a plastic casing to fix it better, this way I can switch it off easily. Let's show you how it works. I go to the Wi-Fi settings on the device, right now I can find only my network. Now I'm attaching the Wi-Fi gun, then I wait a few seconds, smartphone needs to find it. Wow, it's going already! Oh, the number of signals is still growing! Let's see what a Wi-Fi analyzator program will show us. Oh my, look at this, I've just moved it closer! So, you can use the Wi-Fi gun to catch some internet for your laptop, tablet, anything you want. My Wi-Fi gun can catch some Wi-Fi signals, but it can also cast some Wi-Fi. Just attach it to a router. I'm casting the signal of my Wi-Fi gun all along the street. This way I'm going to check out the distance it covers. That's 300 meters right now, but I still get the signal like I'm at home. We have crossed the borders of our town now, and the Wi-Fi still gets the signal. Let's check out the connection. It's working, but not that fast obviously. I want to know its limits! In the distance of 3 kilometers, I have lost the connection. Seems like the phone's antenna isn't big enough. So it can find our signal there. But it's okay. I've made another Wi-Fi gun. It's fastened to a car with a magnet. Now we're using Wi-Fi guns both in getting signal and sending it. It even reaches two extra Wi-Fi signals from the city. The city is in 10 kilometers from here. Now it's 5 kilometers to the town we left the first gun, but it still gets the signal perfectly. Let's measure the speed of the connection. Oh, <laughs> this is really unbelievable. Alright, let's move to another town. We are going to test the extremely long distance connection. It's around 9 kilometers distance, but the guns do reach each other, though the signal is weak. But let's check the speed of connection. Here it goes. Oh my god, I didn't expect it to be so powerful. This Wi-Fi is super distant. Now I know I can cast some internet to the dacha, or to work, or at school, anywhere. It reaches every place. The main thing is that it's so easy to make, and it doesn't require any special materials. If you don't trust all these DIYs, if you got used to good proof things, you can watch my video, where I explain how to cast a Wi-Fi signal in the distance up to 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers! Using the trusted and professional...